Hey guys, Mr. B here again. Um, taking you through basically um, how to change the general form of a quadratic to transformational form. And uh, we just did many of these problems in class. Um, basically, we did one of two ways. First one being uh, completing the square. And the second way we did it, and we called it the alternate method, which was a fancy way of saying we just found the HT, uh, BT, BS, and ARIA. Okay, so that's that's basically what we did with this guy. I'm going to do this guy uh, both ways. I'm going to use the first way of completing the square, then I'm going to use the second way. On a public exam, unit test, generally it's not going to ask you. I recommend you know both ways but at least know one way very, very well and be prepared to do it that way. All right, so your first step with completing the square is take this C value over to the other side. So you end up with Y minus 5 is equal to 3X squared minus 12. Minus 12X. All right. I don't like how I do my X's today. All right, so now my next step is, uh, this is an optional step, but I recommend doing it. Take this 3 out. Okay, so you end up with y minus 5, factor out the 3, so you end up 3x squared minus 4x. Just take the 3 out. That's all you need to take out. Not the x, just the 3. Okay. Now we need to use our formula that we learned about what... Um, what value of C here, so what plus C value here, will make this a perfect square trinomial? So if you remember, C is equal to B divided by 2, all squared. Okay, so what value of C here makes this a perfect square trinomial? And a perfect square trinomial is one that factors into the form X minus something, all squared. All right, so let's just do that. So Y minus 5 is equal to 3 x squared minus 4x, and my b value is b divided by 2, that's 2, squared would be 4, so positive 4, or negative, I'll actually write that as just equal to, so I went negative 4 divided by 2 squared, so negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 squared is 4, so that's my c value here that I add in. Okay. Now I'm missing a step here. And um, what I actually need to do now is because I added four to this side, I need to add something else to this side. But recognize I'm not just adding four. I'm adding three times four, which will be twelve. So let me add, make sure I add. Let me make sure I add that in there, and I'll actually rewrite this just so I can show you. So y minus five plus twelve. Now, if there was no 3 in front and I just added 4 here, it would be fine. But because I'm adding 3 times 4, I need to put 12 on this side. Alrighty? So now I can simplify. So let me left with y plus 7 is equal to 3. Still outside. Now what I need to do is factor this guy. So what number adds to get negative 4? Multiplies to get 4. That's going to be negative 2 and negative 2. So... This is what I mean by perfect square trinomial. It factors into this guy. Negative 2, negative 2 is both my solutions. So y minus 2 squared. All right. Now, another way to get that number, negative 2. Look, what's inside the brackets here when you simplify? It's negative 2, miraculously. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, the only thing I got left to do is get rid of this 1 over 3. So I just times both sides by 1 over 3. So I'm going to put 1 over 3 y plus 7 is equal to x minus 2 all squared. All right. So that's my final answer. That's my transformational form. Okay. If I wanted to go to standard form, I'll just take that 7 across. I mean, minus y is equal to 3. This guy, minus 7. All right. So that's completing the square. If you're not good at that, guys, the only way to get good at it is practice. You can watch me do a million of them. It's not going to make you better, okay? So, you got
got to remember your steps. And you got to remember this guy right here. So very important. Alrighty. Let's try the same question. Let's do it the other way. The alternate method. That's the problem. Alright, so. The alternate method wants, wants us to use HT, BT, DS, REF. REF beam reflection. My HT, of course, is my axis of symmetry, which you remember is negative B over 2A, which is going to be negative negative 12, so 12, positive 12 over 2, times 3, which is a positive 2, okay? My VT is whatever I get when I stick this 2 back in here. So Y is equal to 3, 2 squared, minus 12 times 2, plus 5. So I'm left with, um, it's going to be 12. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12, minus 24, plus 5. So I'm left with um, negative 12 plus 5, or negative 7. So my VT is negative 7. My VS basically is my A value. Okay, This is my A value, so my VS is 3. Simple as that. My REF, if there's a negative here, then it's yes. There's no negative, so it's no. REF means direction for some of you guys. Up, opens up, or opens down. If it opens up, then it's no reflection. If it opens down, then it is yes reflection. All right, so... Now that we have all this guy, we could just simply write out my equation. So my Vs is 3, so we flip that. It'd be 1 over 3. Y, and my Vt is the opposite, plus 7, is equal to, and then my Ht, x opposite, minus 2, squared. So that's this guy. So you have those two options, guys. This one is a lot quicker. It's a lot easier, in my opinion. Completing the square has its... Has its has its upsides, but it takes a little bit longer. Okay, so you get the same answer. Look, we got the exact same answer, just different ways. All right, guys, so there's two options for you. Please keep those in mind. Practice them, please. Practice. If you want to get good at this stuff, it's no good to watch me do it. You guys got to do it yourselves, okay? It doesn't mean go home and do a million problems. It might take two or three for some of you guys to master it. Once it's mastered, move on, all right? All right, so... Good luck with your studying.